How are you doing? We're going to share with you a really exciting innovation today where we're going to demonstrate and tell you how to is essentially create campaigns where I personalize to a person with a message that changes as they move from platform to platform. So you could reach them on Pinterest, then a new message on Facebook, new message on Google, something else on Instagram. Magic. Okay. So this is a, 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 an innovation that's built on something we did two years ago. So two years ago, um, using Google Analytics as a hub for audiences, we figured out how to take all our Facebook traffic, Twitter traffic, and then create specific campaigns for those people on search, YouTube, GSPs, uh, Google Display. This is really successful. About half the awards we've won in the last few years have been based on this tactic. We always had this question now. So we said, so we figured out how to go from social to search. It'd be amazing if we could do it the other way around, go from search to social. And we had this magic eureka moment in the office there just before Christmas, where the innovation bubbled up on both the social team and the search team at the same time, and we figured it out. So here to explain to you what can be done and how to do it, uh, here, here's Roisin. Cool, thanks. So yeah, at the end of last year, we had this eureka moment, as Al said. Um, we figured out a way to collect audiences, search audiences in Facebook. So I'm going to try and explain as simply as I can, but um, essentially when you're creating a search campaign, you probably are using the Google URL builder, and this is where you're putting in keywords into like your, your source, your medium, your campaign, for example. So if you take those keywords and put them into Facebook custom audiences, uh, Facebook will build up that audience that you can use then for remarketing or for creating lookalikes from. Uh, so we weren't sure if this is going to work. We put our keywords from our paid search ads into Facebook, and we saw the audience building up, and we were like delighted because we really this was going to work. Um, so yeah, that was our real eureka moment when we figured out the way to collect audiences from search to social. It was deadly. Magic. Mm -hmm. And one of our maxims here in Wolfgang Digital is uh, find success and then amplify. So once you, you've found this success and you're getting great results, mm -hmm. how, what, what questions did you ask yourself to try and build it out further? Yeah, so our next question was, could we share audiences from social to social? So let's say from Pinterest to Facebook um, or from Twitter to Facebook. So let's take Pinterest as the example. Um, Pinterest is a really good search engine, visual search engine. So let's say you're looking up recipes on Pinterest and you can collect the, you can collect the people who are clicking on your recipes on Pinterest, for example example, collect them as an audience, take the keywords like, like I showed you earlier on uh, and put them into Facebook custom audiences. So then you have a great way of targeting your Pinterest clickers in Facebook. Um, and this is amazing for sequential advertising. So if you can start the journey in Pinterest, bring them to Facebook, bring them to Instagram, back to search, to YouTube, to, to Twitter, um, it's a great way of sequential advertising cross-platform. Magic. Mm. Wow. Mm. Um, so this is, this is beautiful. And um, the other thing I want to ask you, Roshan, is so when Google Anal Analytics was our audience's hub, that meant we could take traffic from other sources and remarket it to them all the, on all the Google platforms. When Facebook is your audience's hub, where, where can you market to people? Yes, yeah, so Facebook is obviously Facebook's newsfeed, but it's also Instagram, Instagram Stories, uh, Facebook Messenger, and hopefully WhatsApp as well soon. Deadly. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the big fear we had when we were doing this is like audiences is synonymous with that dirty word, remarketing. And we're like, oh, if we start doing you know, interacting with people throughout their, their, their internet experience like this, are we gonna piss them off? Are we gonna piss off internet users? So there's two metrics we looked at to see if this was happening. Number one was social engagement, and we found that social, or no, social- Sentiment. Social sentiment, <laughs> thank you. Uh, it was actually up 10% post campaign. Now I'm a direct response marketer. Social sentiment is lovely, but I'm interested in conversion. And the stat that made me fall off my chair was conversion rate for people who'd been exposed to cross channel ads was nine times higher, nine times higher than those who hadn't. So that for me tells me this is consumers love this and these are highly effective campaigns. So if you have any questions or you have some thoughts or maybe you've got some experience of uh, using audiences in an interesting way, we'd love to, to, to hear from you. Tweet us, hashtag is Wolfgang Bites, and we're going to be on uh, Twitter for the next couple of days uh, waiting to talk to you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>